Yeah, right now we actually have a little bit of a lull in the tropics, which is good news. This is good news, especially during some of the peak hours that we typically see this time of year. One disturbance to talk about, and as of right now, taking a look at how that's going to be playing out, it looks as though it's going to be heading west towards the Leeward Islands, and it could be crossing parts of San Juan into Puerto Rico, and then into parts of Hispaniola near uh, the Dominican Republic in Haiti. But as of right now, it's a 40 to 50 percent chance of developing. Otherwise quiet, we had Earl, Danielle, both disappeared this past weekend and now just one disturbance that could be giving us another named system in the next five days. Close to home, we wake up with those temperatures on the refreshing side, low 60s, mid to upper 50s around the Queen City, low 50s for Boone and Jefferson this morning. Highs are going to be close to normal. We're talking about peaking in the low 80s, which is typical for your mid September afternoon. So definitely still feeling like late summer into fall, upper 70s to low 80s, while you're going to see those mountain counties peaking in the upper 60s low 70s today still going to feel pretty nice this afternoon despite maybe some folks needing that light jacket to start the morning. We have the 80s stretched all across the eastern seaboard from Boston through Washington, D.C., even down to Orlando and Miami peaking in the upper 80s today. More in the way of 90s back towards the Midwest, and that's where we're going to see some of that heat push east over the course of the next four to five days, which is going to give us a little bit of a warm up as we head into early next week. So high pressure in control right now, helping to usher in some of those winds that are coming out of the north northeast today, still continuing to feel those dry conditions that have taken over behind that cold front, which was responsible responsible for Monday's rain. You still see those storms off of the Carolinas coast and you almost see the steep drop off of moisture for the Carolinas behind that cold front. And that's what's given us the dry conditions, the sunny skies and that refreshing feeling that you're experiencing this morning. So taking a look at your future cast, cast as the dry stretch continues Wednesday afternoon, mostly sunny and clear overnight into your Thursday. The clear skies allowing for another brisk night and then the sunny skies gets us back into the 80s as we head into Thursday and even Friday we will continue to bring those clear conditions. So your seven day forecast has plenty of sunshine overnight lows in the upper 50s to low 60s. We're going to be in the mid 80s through the weekend before the upper 80s near 90 degrees arrives early next week.